Very few Bostonians gathered along the street to watch the Veterans Day Parade this year. In comparison to the Red Sox World Series celebration, the Veterans Parade lacked excitement and an audience. Veteran of Afghanistan, Paul LaPrice, says veterans are taken for granted and are many times forgotten. According to the National Coalition for Homeless Veterans, about 1.4 million veterans are considered at risk for homelessness due to poverty, lack of support, and poor living conditions. I think it's very unfair. I, I think they are uh, under-recognized, but I don't know what to do about it. Uh, the media has to do something about that. The New England Center for Homeless Veterans, located in downtown Boston, has programs and services that help veterans integrate back into society. Tom Benoit, a Marine veteran, feels like treatment of veterans is getting better. Today, we have a lot better, a lot better kind of understanding of what veterans go through. They get supported, but they also get maligned at the same time. The Washington Post just released a report from the White House revealing that many states have complex licensing requirements that can make it difficult for veterans to apply their skills to civilian jobs. It appears that government benefits may not be enough. What veterans long for is just a little respect. From Boston, I'm Victoria Manessis reporting for Temple Street.